PTZ cameras offer a long list of advantages for churches. Probably most importantly is the ability to control multiple cameras with just one person, usually a volunteer. Unfortunately, most of the time, the controller that one person is using is usually an afterthought to the actual PTZ cameras themselves. But let's get a closer look at the Commander Junior PTZ controller from BZB Gear. It offers not only flexibility, but the user friendliness that is vitally important and is often overlooked. My name is Tom McGuire. I'm at the River of Life Christian Center in Orlando, Florida. We average about 1,600 on a Sunday, and we are currently going through a very large upgrade of all of our AV systems. We built this podcast studio that I'm sitting in uh, in order to start to do things that wouldn't necessarily be talked about from the pulpit. The Commander Junior is actually small enough to easily fit inside of a backpack, but it still packs all the features that you would need to control all of your cameras. It's got your two access joystick, it's got your zoom rocker, a focus knob, as well as an easily accessed PTZ speed knob. So you can make sure that your cameras aren't panning any faster or slower than you intend them to. We had the opportunity to review the BZB Commander Junior for controlling a PTZ camera. So they sent me a couple of cameras as well, and uh, they all worked great. The connectivity was awesome. I have never personally liked <laughs> a PTZ cameras, but they, they worked great. The, the quality of picture was amazing. And we're going to end up buying some uh, for this room because the one man show is hard to do without having presets and stuff like that on cameras. When it comes to PTZs, movement is a huge factor because ideally you would love for your PTZ rig to look like you have manned cameras even though you don't. And that really relies on build quality and attention to detail in the build of the controller to make sure that your rocker and your joystick are actually allowing you to get that smooth motion. Yeah, the movement was very smooth. Um, and the ability to uh, change the speed uh, of the movement was uh, great because I tend to go faster than probably people should. It allowed me to actually slow myself down some to make sure that I was making smoother transitions and smoother moves. Just the ability to, again, set those presets were, were super easy. So I just got the shot I wanted, press and hold the button long, it saves it. As soon as you want to go back to it, you short press the button and it goes back to that same look. I was able to, you know, dive into uh, ISO and, and all of those different settings, gamma, everything to get exactly the look I was looking for. So we've already gone over that the Commander Junior is very small, but also the compact PTZs from BZB Gear are also very small. Three of those and the Commander Junior could fit into a very small package, making them an amazing mobile setup for anyone live streaming or capturing live events. But what about setup? Because if it's easy to get there, but it takes forever to set up, then... I think the, the thing that surprised me the most about the BCB Gear uh, Commander Junior and the cameras was just how quickly it's set up. Every other time I've used PTZ cameras, it's been an arduous task to get them to communicate correctly and making changes. Sometimes it happens in the, in the controller, sometimes it's a software thing you have to do. This, everything was right in the controller. It's super volunteer friendly. And the reason why it is, is because it's so easy to set up ahead of time, basically, and then put a volunteer in front of it and just let them run it because you've done all of your presets. It still allows them to be creative if they want to because they can move the camera on their own, but it's very, very volunteer friendly. Lately, there's definitely been a boom in the amount of churches doing podcasts, and I love it. I feel like we've always been a little outnumbered on the internet, but lately it feels like we're really starting to plant our flag. But it is quite overwhelming thinking about all the gear you would need for a podcast, and what camera do I need, and what accessories for the camera to make it work with the microphone or with the switcher, or how do I control the camera from afar? Do we have to always go to the camera to change little things on it? There's so many little questions. But with PTZ cameras and controllers like this, it really changes the game and brings the level of entry to a much more accessible place. Having a chance to finally use the BZB gear uh, commander uh, junior and the cameras was, was an amazing experience. For somebody who did not like PTZs prior to this, um, to now be willing to go out and buy a, a couple of them to put in our uh, podcast studio, it's a win-win. It's a I mean, I got a chance to try something cool and BZB gear is going to get a sale out of it. 
So a big thank you to BZB Gear for continuing to bring us so much value. And definitely check out their website. They have a ton of amazing offerings in this space. And a big thank you to Tom and the whole team at River of Life Christian Center for taking the time, implementing this in your system, and giving us your insight. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the Church Production YouTube channel, as well as check out churchproduction.com for new articles and insights on everything church production. As always, I'm Marcel Patillo, and I'll see you all in the next one.